हेलो सर हाय सर एवरीथिंग गुड यस सर ऑल राइट डिवाइस एवरीथिंग didn't get the time to do it simply i did some questions though but not the class all right no worries let's wait for others to join all right till then you can solve one question let me give you a question all right let me get my equipment so i just woke up now actually all right all right take your time till we wait for other students All right, sir. Please try to solve this question. This question is from increasing, decreasing. You are there, sir. Hello, sir. I'm back, sir. All right, I'm solving one question. All right, of increasing, decreasing. 
Right. Can we start with minimum maxima? Show that y equals to log of one plus x minus two x upon two plus x, where x is greater than minus one, is an increasing function of x throughout its domain. All right. You remember increasing, decreasing? Yes, so first differentiated, then find right. the intervals. Absolutely right. Right. Positive, negative, right? Right, sir. Okay. So it will be the logs differentiation would be one by one plus x, right? Yes. Then again, uh, should we differentiate using the chain rule of one plus x or just leave it there? No, no, you have to differentiate, but uh, differentiation of one plus x is one only, right? Right. It, it will not affect that much. Right. So no need. Yes. All right. Right, sir. Hello, Ryan. Ryan, you're there? Yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening, Ryan. Everything good? Yeah, sir. How are you? Right. I'm also good. You revised everything? Yeah. All right. So we started with this question, increasing, decreasing function, all right, which we did in the previous classes, right? You remember this, increasing, and decreasing, where you have to differentiate finding intervals, drawing the table, right? Yes or no, Ryan? Yes, sir. All right, so try solving this. The question shown in the whiteboard. All right, I'll give you a few minutes. Sir, one more doubt, sir. Uh, for the, the question rule, it was u dash v or u v dash minus u dash v dash. I mean, u dash v by v square. What about the differentiation? If you have. No, I was confused between u dash v or u v dash uh, like remember like this this goes first like this all right the denominator comes first like this all right denominator will be uh, v square right 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 i'm saying uh, in the numerator of differentiation okay you can remember like this v will go, go like this u okay. dash minus u v dash upon v square all right got it Got it. First differentiation of u, then v. Yes. Got it.
Have you guys solved this? Uh, not getting it, sir. Could you solve it? So first step would be to differentiate. So y dash, we can find this is 1 upon 1 plus x minus 2 plus x into differentiation of 2x is 2 minus 2x into 2 plus x differentiation is 1 upon 2 plus x, right? Sorry, 2 plus x whole square. Yes, sir. So 1 upon 1 plus x minus this is 4 plus 2x minus 2x upon 2 plus x whole square. This thing is clear? Mm, yeah, till there it's clear. Uh, then both of them are yeah, cancelled. Right. Now this is 1, 1 plus x minus 4 upon 2 plus x whole square. Now what you can do, uh, you can take LCM. Right, so please take LCM and simplify. See what happens. All right, that's what I did. Yeah, so what you get this is 1 plus x, 2 plus x whole square. So here, 2 plus x whole square minus 4 into 1 plus x. Right, all right, so so a plus b whole square 4 plus x square plus 4x minus 4 minus 4x upon 1 plus x and 2 plus x whole square so 4x 4x is cancelled 4 4 is cancelled right right so so what i made a mistake the one silly mistake all right, all right so that is why now you can see this x x square upon 2 plus x square is always positive right ryan cell this thing is clear right so x square upon 2 plus x whole square is always positive square of any number is always positive in this quantity 1 upon 1 plus x in the question they have given that x is less than minus 1 sorry more than minus 1 yeah it is right? larger than more than that. yeah more than minus 1 so this also cannot be ever negative right so, so it is increasing whole, Yes, whole quantity is always positive. So this is increasing in x more than minus one. Right. All right. Got it. So you don't have to find the interval? No, no, you don't have to find interval. Ah, yes. okay, okay. Then right. it's fine if we it's fine if we leave it here. Yes. And just write, you just the write that yeah, you just write x x upon two plus x whole square is always positive. And because x is always more than minus one, so this quantity is also always positive. So this differentiation is always positive, which makes it increasing function throughout its domain. All right. Yes, sir. Got it. Ryan, this thing is clear. Ryan, is it clear what we did here? Yes. Okay, all right. So please note it down if you want. I'll give you a few minutes. The next question on this.
So how did 4x come? So like it was 4 plus x squared plus 2x, right? It should be. Um, let me... No, like no, 2 plus uh, x square ab right yeah 2 plus x two square. whole square equal be uh this one 2 square plus x square into 2 ab so 2 into 2 4 x right no okay okay you wrote okay i wrote got it i wrote a square plus b square plus 2 ab then i mixed up all right got it Done, sir. All right, next question. Prove that. Ryan, this is clear? Clear, sir. All right, prove that the function f given by f of x equals to x square minus x plus 1 is neither increasing nor neither strictly increasing nor strictly decreasing in minus 1 to 1. Make it open that. Right here you have to plot the intervals. All right. Very simple question. So x would be 1 by 2, right? Yes, critical point will be 1 by 2. Then we would have to find uh, the intervals, which would be one minus 1 to 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 to 1, right? Yes, right, right. Then you have to draw the table and find the Got positive negative, right? Right.
डन सर All right, Ryan. What about you? Are you able to solve this? Ryan, if you have not got the previous lectures, please get them. Please watch it. All right, you have to put in an extra effort, right? Uh, no, sir, I didn't solve it. Uh, and sir, my mic is, my internet is slow, so I can't switch on my mic at times. All right, all right, no worries. Uh, but please get the previous lecture videos and watch it. All right, uh, make some time in your day, right? One hour at least every day to watch the previous lecture videos, solve the class questions. All right. and if you still have any doubts we can discuss that also all right we have to make sure that you are scoring good marks right ryan yes sir all right so how to solve this we have f of x equals to x square minus x plus 1 so f dash x will be 2x minus 1 if we put f dash x equals to 0 we get Which minus one equals to zero, so x equals to half. All right. So half is the critical point. So in the interval, we have minus one, half, and one. Drawing the table. Interval. Sine of f dash x. Nature of Interval is minus one to half and half to one. So you can put any number. We can put zero. So if you put zero here, this will be negative. So decreasing. And if you put three by four, right? Don't put one by four. One by four is lesser than half. So three by four you can put. If you put three by four, this will be three by two minus one, which is One by two, positive, so increase. Right, Sahil? Yes, sir. So from so minus one. So is it okay if I didn't make the number line? I didn't. I forgot to make the number line. Yes, yes, it's absolutely fine. Okay, sir. So we can see from minus one to one, function is both increasing and decreasing. So it is neither increasing nor decreasing. All right, just write that line, and it will be clear. Ryan, this thing is clear. All right, you can also just uh, give me a thumbs up. Right, if your mic is not working. A next question. Please try to solve this. Let I be any interval disjoint from minus one to one. Think that the function f given by f of x equals to x plus one upon x. Is increasing on i. All right. Please try to solve this. Let me give a quick hint about this. We are saying i be any interval disjoint from minus one to one. That means what is the domain of this function? R minus this one to one. Right. Everything except this. Right, everyone. From minus infinite to minus one. I didn't get it, sir. Like interval disjoint means. Uh, disjoint means except this. All right, we cannot take uh, like suppose you go to a restaurant. All right, and I uh, there are many desserts there: pastries, cakes, waffles, uh, ice cream. All right, everything is there. I say 
you can order anything disjoint of ice cream that means you cannot ask for ice cream everything else is okay okay so all, all, what all flavors of means okay uh, all flavors of ice cream is deleted that means here they are saying let i be any interval disjoint from minus 1 to 1 that means any interval means you can take any real number disjoint from minus 1 to 1 that means you cannot choose numbers from this only right so after we find x we can't use minus 1 and 1 right for minus 1 to 1 that interval will be deleted right so this okay minus 1 and 1 can be used but in different intervals uh, no no see disjoint from you can see there are close brackets here so minus 1 and 1 will also be excluded right then so okay. we have to find different new intervals different and new yes. intervals yes but right. any real number so, yes number line will be this will be minus 1 1 don't take this thing everything else critical points you can plot all right this line just forget this part all right they are saying this thing all right we try to solve this so this value of 1 by x will become uh, minus x raised to minus 2 yes right so take lcm and factorize you will get the critical points right so
so root can be a interval uh any number can be uh cuz i was getting x as root 1 root 1 is 1 only right then is is it i forgot one second is it yeah i think it is yes right yeah or root 1 is 1 right right sir So if I get x as one, then how do I uh, find intervals? Let's see. We have f of x as x plus one upon x. So f dash x will be one minus one upon x square. Right. We can take LCM. So this will be. X square minus one upon x square, right? Mm, yeah, we could do that. All right. So here we can factor this x minus one, x plus one. This is x square. So from here, critical point is zero. From this, x is one. From this, x is minus one. So on the whole number line. We are getting three critical points minus one, zero, and one. But we are not to consider anything on this part, right? They have told, so we just have to check from th uh, this point and this point. So put any number more than one. We can put two. So two minus one is one. Two plus one is three. So this is positive. If you put any number less than this, this will also come out to be positive. All right. All right, sir. So if this part and this part is positive, and we are not to consider this part, so the question says that it is increasing on any part which is not minus one to one, which is true. All right. So no need to make a table and all. You can make a table. How to make table? Yeah. So if you can take. We are say any value between infinity and one, like say like three, so it would be positive. Right. So you can uh, create table minus infinity to minus one. Minus one and infinity to one and one to infinity. One to infinity, right? And rest things, you know, alright. One should be in open bracket and infinity should be in closed bracket, right? No, no. We can never include uh, infinity. Nobody knows what is infinity. Okay. Alright. Ryan, if this is clear, yes. Ryan, if this is clear, you can give me a thumbs up, right? Or raise your hands. Yes, sir. All right. Please note it down. Complete the question.
done so all right another question the interval in which y equals to x square to the, uh, into e to the power minus x is increasing is and they have given you four options minus infinite to infinite minus 2 to 0 2 to infinite 0 to 2 try to solve this one again differentiate find the interval critical points all right we solve this So any real number uh, subtracted when e raised to x is subtracted by any real number, what is the value, sir? Subtracted by any real number, like means like x square will become two x. It then minus e raised to minus x, right? No, 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 no. See, you have to use product rule. Okay, it's multiplication. Complete. Okay, okay. I didn't see that. I thought okay, I wrote. Okay. Okay. Make this is six. Yeah.
So I'm getting x square into e raised to minus x plus e raised to minus x into two x. Absolutely right. Then we can factorize e raised to minus x, and in the bracket there will be x square plus two x. Right. So x also you can take common thing. X square into e to the power minus x and the negative sign plus e to the power minus x into two x. So what you can do, you can take common e to the power minus x and x. Okay, along with e, we can take common x as well. You are right. saying. So here you will have minus x, and here you will have two. So from this, you can get zero. This thing is never zero, right? Exponential functions never get zero. And this thing is two. So two critical points, zero and two. So plot it down. See which intervals give you positive, because you have to find which interval is increasing. All right. All right, sir. So why did you put the subtraction sign before x square? Because of chain rule, right? Differentiation of e to the power minus x is e to the power minus x into minus one. So the minus sign will come down. You are saying? Right. Okay. Done, sir. All right, which is the answer then? Zero to two, sir. Zero to two, absolutely right. 
So the intervals we have is this is zero, this is two. So from minus infinite to zero, zero to two, and two to infinite. All right. So if you check, put it in this differentiation, you'll get that zero to two things are positive. All right. All right, sir. So this thing is clear, Ryan. This thing is clear. You can yes, use sir. your hands. All right. This is a few important questions for your examinations also. All right. So now so let's take for a the, test. Sir, there's a test coming up the uh, on second of October from second of October. The portions mm -hmm. will be the last two exercises of the last uh, continuity and differentiability, and this whole chapter applications. Applications. October second. Just give me a moment. Yeah, from October second. And when is the mass exam? I need to check it, sir. It's not uh, given, sir. I have. I'll send my friend to check it on the side and give it. Actually, I'm not in my locality. I mean, not not in the mom right now. So I don't have access to the app. Yes, uh, we can finish this in by then this chapter. All right. Next two exercises are omitted, right? Six point three and six one four. No, no. We are uh, going to take a lot of time when solving the uh, main exercise, maxima minima, right? Okay. Which has geometrical questions. That will be the difficult thing in this chapter. The rest are easy. All right. Okay. So we're going to take a few classes for that only to solve different types of questions. All right. Right, sir. But no worries. But differentiability continuity is uh, clear, I guess, right? If you have any doubts, you can get the lecture videos also. You can solve the exercises, assignments. All right. If you have doubts, you can ask me in the class. All right, sir. Yes, sir. So that is no worries. And uh, remember this. In the videos, you will be getting that in the first few videos, right? Because we started with differentiation, then we started continuity differentiability. All right. Yes, sir. All right, then let's take a test. I told you in the last class, rate of increasing and decreasing quantities, right? Small test, three questions will be there. All right, both of you, give me a few minutes. I'll be sharing the test. All right, both of you can see the paper. Sahel, Ryan. Yes, sir. All right, you have 30 minutes for this or 25 minutes, like not very difficult questions. Please make a PDF while sending the answer sheet. Write your name on the PDF. All right. Okay, sir.
लास्ट फाइव मिनट्स एवरीवन यस सर